All right, guys. Here, what you got is the adapter I told you I've been working on. Um, you can see the balance plug connector here and the four millimeter uh, main terminals. And then this is the actual interface that was uh, 3D printed and assembled. Uh, you can see the spring loaded pins in there. Nice and springy. Let's see if I could get it to focus for you. All right. So the idea here is to take a charger like this one that's available from like Hobby King and basically allow it to interface with the unique battery. Now, obviously my battery is a little scratched up and beat up because I've been using it for all this uh, experimentation and development. But here's basically what you do. You could take um, the interface and basically connect it in to the charger. So we're going to take the positive lead here. And we're going to take the negative lead. And let me switch hands. Then we're going to take the balance plug. There we go. Okay, and we're going to power on the charger. Okay, and here you see it's set to Lipo Balance Auto. Um, I set it to 10.3 amps, but I mean, it's up to you based on your power supply, your charger, the, the rate that you feel would be safe to, to charge it at. Um, all right, so we basically take the interface here and we simply slide it in. And it fits nice and snug. Um, once it's all the way in, you basically come back to your interface here. And let's see. We could go ahead and start a charge. And there it goes. It's ramping up the voltage and it's ramping up the amperage until it gets to our settings. If you press here, you can see your individual cell voltages. You see these are all within 0 0.01 volts, which is really good. And you see more information there. Um, there's also a way of checking the internal resistance. I believe we have to stop the charge. And if we hold the battery type stop, I think it's for several seconds, it'll tell us um, the voltage of the battery, some temperatures, the voltage of the cells, which at this point are pretty much balanced. And then it gets to the internal resistance, which is really good because right here is where you see basically the internal resistance of the factory cells on the unique battery and if this is off potentially you might have a defective battery so that's pretty much it i mean you could use all the other functions such as storage balance everything that the charger features is now available with the interface that um, i developed um, on your factory unique battery that's all for now. If you got questions, um, you guys got my uh, information, you could just give me a ring anytime. And again, thanks for your support and your feedback.